USCIS Form I-864 is an affidavit of support under Section 213A of the INA. USCIS Form I-864 is necessary when you are going to file for I-485 Adjustment of Status. This is going to help you when it comes to your husband or your spouse, specifically you as citizen, to their taxes and information if they can support you here in the United States of America. If you want to know more about this, so let's dive in and let the journey begin. <music> Good day. Welcome to Powerful Couple Journey. My name is Emery and we are going to talk today about Form I-864. When I submitted the I-485, I really asked my husband to read the information with the Form I-864 Affidavit of Support and we help each other to fill out this form. Page 1, this is how it's going to look like and take a look at the expiration date. That way it's up to date. Also, start with the information that says start here using a black ink. This is again connected with your application for just status or I-485. Page 2, this is how it's going to look like. You can find this free form I-864 at the website USCIS.gov. This is a free form. You can print this one and start filling your information. As you can see, I have lots of NA because it is not applicable to me. We got married with my husband. He is single and I'm single prior to marriage. So most of our information are straightforward and it's going to be simple and easy. Page three is about the sponsor's name. Some of the information you can get it with your account with I-130. So you have to know when to file the I-130 first, then the I-485, then this is going to be also helpful when it comes to filing your I-864. Page four, your household income and other information. You see the highlighted ones, answer that one on your own because this is a case-to-case -case basis and this is all about your confidential information. Page 5 is about federal income tax, so make sure that you have all the information as well. Print the PDF instruction because there is a detailed information on how you can put the tax income and with the pay stubs that you have and your husband's or U.S. citizen spouse. Page 6 is about supplemental income and other information, so make sure you fill that out properly as well. Page 7, our information about your sponsor's name, contact information, and all details. Make sure you put that properly. That way, they can communicate with you if needed. But based on my information, they never really contact my husband because all the information that we're given there is packed with evidences and it suffice the information they needed for my adjust status. Page 8 is where your sponsor's signature will be indicated and the time that they sign it is very important and that way the USCIS officer will not return your files or else it's going to be hurting your time and your schedule of filing your adjustment of status I-485 with the form I-864. Page 9 if you have a preparer's statement or other information like an immigration lawyer they most probably give you a G-28, that's their form that they have to sign and include in all the papers. But if you are compelled to do it yourself, just like what I did, so this is going to be the step-by-step -step process for you. And page 10, if you have further or additional information that you would like to put, but if not, then just put N slash A or not applicable. But this is it. This is the end of this video when it comes to filing the form I-864. Again, remember, this is going to be in the USCIS.gov forms and print the PDF instruction. That way, you can highlight the evidences that you're needing 
and all your documents will be included with your adjust status or I-485. Thank you so much and please stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to our fellow J1 that are seeking for their waiver through do-it-yourself process because Powerful Couple Journey is here to help. Don't forget that we have also a website for if you wanted to have your statement of reasons, cover letters, and other information that is helping you when it comes to the J-1 waiver process. Thank you so much and you have a great day. God bless!